YouTube, welcome. If you're on Instagram, welcome. We're going to get started in just a moment. This is ballet class for 60 minutes, all center for beginner and intermediate adult dancers. So take a moment, check your space, make sure there's nothing around you that you need to get rid of. For example, I have a dog ball <laughs> sitting here, not safe. Take a moment to make sure your space is really, really clear. And we'll get started in just a moment. So today's class is all about really focusing on balance and poise. So when we come center without our bar, we can really focus on what matters. We're not gonna be doing big leaps and turns and all the things in the center that we might love to do in the studio. We're instead gonna focus on more essential work, weight change, balance, posture, those kinds of things. So I'm really looking forward to getting started. And I think we should get going. Looks like we are ready to roll. I'm gonna go ahead and put our music on. And just make sure that's all turned up. All right, my friends, the first thing we're gonna do today is we're actually going to begin on the floor. So take a moment to come on down and we're going to do work through some floor bar just to get ourselves nice and warm. All right. So find a place to seat on the floor. I want you to go ahead and put your legs straight out. And then I want you to go ahead and bring your forearms back behind you. If you see it from the side, just like this. And from here, I want you to bring your toes to point up. I'm just thinking about lifting your chest, not sitting down into your shoulder girdle, but actually lifting up and out of it. Yeah. Broad, wide collarbones. Take a moment to point through the feet. Flex them back up. Now this time as you point, see if you can show off your demi point, like you're pushing into the floor, heels up, but balls of the feet and toes are flat. Then point. Can you reverse it? Pull off the ball of your feet, then flex. Good. Take it again, point those feet, work through the balls, and then reverse that same motion. Let's do it four more times, ready? Four, and point, pull it back. Push to point, pull it back. Two more times, push to point, pull it back. Push to point, pull it back. Nice work. Open those feet to first position. Can you work through the same motion? Push to your demi point and all the way through. From the front, you should be able to see down your legs, there's space in between them. When you flex, the heels touch or are very close. When you point, just like you're jumping, there's a little bit of space. So we're gonna pull back and here we go. Demi and point, demi and flex. Three more times. Really notice your turnout coming from your thighs, not from the ankles. Nice flex. Close them up. Awesome work. Now I want you to go ahead and notice your thighs. Roll back out to your first position. Close them up. Roll them out. Close them up. Notice the way your thighs react to that turnout. They are what's initiating that rotation. So opening up to first, we're going to work through some plies. We're going to pull our feet flat all the way up to where our demi position would be. So imagine there's a floor flat on the bottom of our feet, pulling those feet back. Once your feet start to kind of point downward at an angle, you know that you're more close to a grand plie. So working through our demi plie, pull it up, find your kind of threshold, and then let your knees relax. Good. Engage your glutes a little. I'm going to really work through that turnout. Push. Let's take that four more times. Four. And push. Feel that midline zipping up. Push it away. And three. And two. And one. Nice. Go ahead and relax those feet. Feel free to shake it out. So as we're working today's center, we really want to feel that push and pull of our plie so it's really strong and really grounded. And then when we're working through plies, elevates, relevates, maybe just pondering through, we can really focus on 
working through our dummy points. Yeah? If you're feeling like I am, <laughs> feel free to take a quick stretch. Just send it forward. <sighs> Pull those feet back to butterfly. Beginning of class, we're not very warm, so our stretch is just to loosen things up and check in with where any tight spots should be. We're not forcing the beginning of class. If it feels good to move up to a straddle, go for it. If you're folding forward, keeping those toes pointing up. I know it's really tempting to point. See if you can flex. So you can really see toes, knees, thighs working on that rotation. All right, and we'll go ahead and stand up. So thinking about those fundamentals, how we work through our plie and how we work through our demi point is gonna be really, really important. So let me take a moment to pull up our music again, and we'll talk about what we're doing. We're gonna work tendu, flex, turn, in, turn, out, point, close, plie, to work through a little bit of plies and tendus. Yeah? Okay, so let's pull it back for a sec. Stand in first position with me. We're gonna take our right foot, yeah? Figure out which one's your right foot. And we're gonna tendu it forward, maybe using that demi point on the way out. Flex, turn it in, turn it out, point, pull back to first, plie, and straight. Try the other foot, ready? Tendu, flex, turn it in, turn it out, point, close, plie, e, a. We're going to take this front, front, side, side, back, back, side, side. The counts are going to come like this. Practice to the side with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, close, three. Four, plie, six, seven, up and in. Yeah? Okay. So for a moment, we're really working on our turnout. When we take our tendu to the front, our heel's visible drawing forward. When we flex it, it's still turned out. If you flex your ankle and don't wiggle it around, it should point the same direction as your knee and center of your thigh. We then rotate all of that in, all of that out, point and close. When you take this to the side, it's a little trickier. One, your weight is shifted. <laughs> so really stand tall on your standing leg. Five toes down. Big toe, middle toes, pinky toe. Now, when you take this foot to flex, point it forward, not in. I'm gonna say in, but what I mean is parallel. And out, and point, and close. And I have tucked my shirt in like this so you can really tell if I'm off balance. We point, we flex, turn it in, turn it out point close. Any working through the foot would be awesome. Now to the back, we want to take the same thing, but it's a little bit trickier. When you take your tendu to the back, the side of your big toe should be touching. If all five toes are knuckles down, you're not turned out. You're not parallel. We're going to flex that foot, point the foot parallel, pull it to turn out, point close. The goal is to keep those hips as still as possible. Going to the back is most challenging, but you can do it. Our arms can be in second the whole time. You can move them front, front, side, side, back, back, side, side. Or if you just want to keep your hands on your hips, you can really focus on your form. I'm probably going to keep them in second or hands on hips. Whatever you choose, feet in first. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, Four, plie, six, seven, eight. Okay, here we go. At the end of our exercise, we're going to take a few eleves in um, first position, and then we're going to fold over. And we're going to do the same thing in second position, but just follow along. Choose your arm position. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, plie, 
and straight. Shift your weight to the other foot. You got it. Stand tall. Strong hips. Point. Draw it in. Plie. And straight. Right foot side. Time to flex. Turn it in. Turn it out. How's your hips? Point. time I walk towards the camera to check music, um, I get really bright. I have a new light. <laughs> I feel like a moth to the flame. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep working. Um, we're going to work on a little bit more weight changes, combining some tendus and dégagés. And we're going to work through some uh, passés as well. So we're going to go dégagé, 
fondue, change. And then changing our weight entirely to passe. Yeah, let's think about that. So this is a great exercise to prep your glissades, to prep your passes and any weight shifting at all. So we're gonna go ahead and take the right foot and we're gonna dégagé to the side. Now we just did our tom deuce to the side. I hope you were using your side and not the side. When I say that, I mean look at your first position, draw imaginary lines up from your ankles through your toes. That is your turn out. Your turnout may not be 180 perfectly side. I know mine's not. <laughs> Work within your turnout so you can be really, really strong and stable. Okay? Here's the exercise. We're gonna go. Dégagé, plié. What position is this? Second position, demi plié. Push off and close. We're going to the right. So now pick up the right foot. Passe, passe. Lovely. We change sides. Dégagé, plié, push, close, passe, passe. All right, this is a little more challenging, so if you're super, super beginner, maybe don't dégagé and just take it through a tongue again. That's totally fine. Maybe you just work in that space. If you wanna work on a little more foot action with me, use the dégagé. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. So they're quick. You may not have time to wrap the foot and show me the most beautiful thing, but I do want to see the toes come up through the center of the leg, up through the center of your leg, right? That middle, that center line that exists all the way up through us. That's what's coming up. Even though it's quick, do not stickle the foot. It's not here. It's here. Not here, here, okay? All right. Counts then go back this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We go to the front, right foot front. Dégagé, plié, dégagé, and close. You started with the right, so finish with the right. Yeah, then go backwards on the right, stay right. Brush, what position is this? It's fourth, push, close. Right, left, then repeat. Left forward, left, left back, left side. Yeah, it's just a little exercise that I think is so useful when we're preparing for center work or about to move across the floor. Okay, so we're going side, right, left, right, front, back, left, back, front, that's it. Short and sweet, let's do it. Hands, I'm gonna keep on my hips or in second. Your choice. Two eights to prep. part two. To the front on the right, finish on the right, stay on the right, back on the right, stay on the right, then you may move. Left, 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 and left. Yeah, let's try it one more time and maybe change your arms. If you had your hands on your hips, move them to second. You could even do this all fifth, and it's really, really, really useful. When you are taking your dégagé, especially if you're a beginner, do not get overexcited and lean into it. You just want to dégagé a few inches off the ground and then reach to where that toe was, yeah? And it should be 
about where your demisecond is. Maybe an inch further, but no more. Don't lean into it. It's very controlled. Choo, 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 choo. I know it's quick on the passes. You can do it. A little more intermediate today. We got this. If you're looking for some foundations, we did some fundamental ballet, and I'm going to be re-uploading that on YouTube really soon. Sound was a little funny. I'm going to fix that. Ready? And deep breath. Adjust your posture. Five, six, seven, eight. To the side. Right foot front. Right foot back. Left foot front. Left foot back. And rest. How'd it go? Yeah? I know I felt better. All right, my friends. Wow, we're already 20 minutes into class. I can't believe it. All right, I want to take a moment to remind us some port de bras work and really hone in on that for a moment. Make sure, take a moment to make sure you know it's above you. If you have a ceiling fan like me, be really, really, really careful that you know exactly where it is because that's a little scary. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start on a diagonal, okay? So we're gonna do the right and the left side. So if you need to mirror me, and it's the opposite of what I'm saying, that's okay, you can just mirror me. Find a diagonal, yeah? This would be my right diagonal. But if it's your left, that's okay, we're gonna do both sides, I promise. When you are looking for a diagonal, I want you to imagine that there's a box around you. I like to stand parallel to find that. And I literally imagine that there's a box and I am the center. So my toes are pointing towards the front flat spot of that box. Then I want you to notice where the side flat spot would be and where the corner would be. Open up those toes and point your belly button. You can adjust your feet to be at that corner. That is your turnout. And it's also where your diagonal is. It's not the diagonal in the corner. <laughs> Diagonal of your space. Now, if your turnout, you're still really working on it, or you just have other limitations, is pretty narrow, it would be nice if we didn't see the outside of your front foot. You may then make your turnout, your diagonal, a little shallower. But if you have at least 90 in your turnout, you can really think heels, belly button, and you're facing that corner. All right? Our arms are going to come out nice and gently, a little breath. When we take our little breaths, we want to make sure that we bend to open, but then we don't flap closed. <laughs> Just gently soften close. I don't mind our wrists that leads from the top, which never lead from underneath the wrist. Yeah, unless we're trying to do choreography and really stylized. Little breath and close. Take it to first. Second. Close. We're going to call that our low port de bras. Now we're going to come up through our high port de bras, so through first, to second, <laughs> to fifth, open to second, elbows nice and lifted, and then close. Take the high port de bras one more time with me. When you open from fifth, the palms face down towards your head, and then they just rotate open. Elbows, elbows, up, 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 up. Then you can gently soften and flip the hands. Try not to do this too much. <laughs> yeah, from the beginning it goes a little breath and close. Low pour de bras. High pour de bras. First, this time to third. You can gently tip your head like you're peering underneath your beautiful forearm and you're there. Third position is made up of first Goodness, third position is made up of second and fifth, third. We're then gonna switch, switch, fifth, V, fifth, open out. All right, let's go over that again. A little breath and close. First and second 
and close. Big pour de bras to fifth and close. This time first, your front arm comes up. Switch your third, switch your third, fifth, V, fifth, close it up, and properly come down. Awesome, here's a tip. When you're working through third position, imagine you have a string between your hands. Zoop, zoop. I wanna see the change rather than closing and opening. Yeah, it's just what we're doing today. Okay, we're gonna do that coming from the right. We'll then pause and we'll do it from the left. We won't turn around, we're gonna add that on in just a minute. Moving to the other side, it's gonna look just the same. Think front hand, back hand, right? Hands are symmetrical, hands are symmetrical, hands are symmetrical. From here, peer under your front hand, boop, switch, switch, and you've already done it. Yeah, so don't let the rights and the lefts confuse you. Think front and back. What I mean is front towards the camera, back away from the camera. When you're working center, it's really important to know your directions. Downstage, toward me. Upstage, away from me. Stage right, think about which is your right hand. <laughs> it might be this way. Stage right and left, side to side. When you work on diagonals, I would say front, left diagonal. Front right, back right, back left, yeah? Um, some schools of ballet number them, but there are lots of different ways to number it, so we're gonna focus on those, yeah? Let's do it. Feet in first, but if you'd like to be in fifth, you're more than welcome. And let's take that right, and then we'll take left. All right. Let's get some pretty music on. Get something upbeat. Keep the energy through those arms. No droopy porta bras. just like on the other side. YouTube's getting a really close view of my face every time I get music. <laughs> Deep breath. Arms breathe. Here we go. And 
and fifth. And third. so we can really sing into it. Mm. Let's use our um, first song we used. It's so light and elegant. You mean first or fifth? Take a little rest. Woo. 
So on this left side, everything's on twos. The only thing that went a little faster, hit, 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 close. Yeah, moves a little, little faster. You can do it. Let's review. Breath, six, seven, eight. One, two, everything's front. Three, four, everything's side. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Keep the hips underneath you. Don't let them get stuck behind you. Four. Five, six, woo, seven, eight. From there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One defense is over. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and all the way down. Yeah, when we come through third, because we're moving that um, leg, don't stop in third first, just go whoop. Make sure you pass through it, but you don't need to stop there. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah? Okay, let's do it. I like this one, it's pretty. Here we go. Here's the breath. Here we go, right away. <laughs> Downstage leg like moves. Stand up really tall, be confident. Fondue. Fondue that leg. Ready? Smooth it out. 
give it a shot. And push and up. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and do four. One, two, three, four. Nice and smooth. Baby hands on your hips, where you're welcome to bring them to second, or they can be on body, your choice. Ready? Five, six, seven, take four. Two, three, four, and four. Two, three, four, again. And again. Nice. Now, if you have a floor like me, maybe you can really hear your feet. Shwoom. Yeah, not the clunky part, but the sliding part. And that can really show your day shoom, coming off the floor and then back on the floor. And that's really, really essential. So remember those glee sods. Maybe you've done these a million times. Maybe it's your first time. Remember, this is a more beginner intermediate class for adults or recreational. I'm so proud of you for showing up. Okay. Pot of braids. From first position, I want you to take your left foot so we can travel to the right. Put your left foot behind. Don't cross it behind like a grapevine. Just put it behind your leg. Open up to second position with your heels off the ground. And then close. Pas de bray. You're going to step the outside foot, because we're going that way, behind side first. You may absolutely be in fifth position as that. That's where we're used to being. When we go the other way, we step this outside foot, behind side first. Pada bu ready. Now, when we step behind, you want to be careful how you're stepping. Do not step with your toes facing your other foot. That is parallel. You can look like this from the front. We want to turn out. Coupe is the position we're shooting for. Heels against the upper ankle, lower calf, toes pulled away. Pada bu ready. From this way it goes, pada bu ready. Yeah? You're not going to freeze there, but you need to pass through that position, and that's really useful. Let's try doing it one, two, three, four. The counts go pada bu four. Oh, one, two, three, hold four. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four, and a five, six, seven, again, and two, the side. Think up, up, flat. Lovely. When you step behind yourself, plie a little. That way you can really extend, extend, down. If we were taking this from fifth, you could end in a coupe as well. We're going to end in the first today. All right. So now we have a blue sod. We have a pot of bray. Let's do one more. Balance. A balance also utilizes that coupe position and also an extension of the leg. It's not a dégagé. I would say, yeah, it is a dégagé. Out, step. Take that a few times. Brush, step. Yeah, looks very much like a tombay, but we'll do that another time. <laughs> Brush, step. Take this leg, push off, and I want you to put it behind you like it's going to coupe, and then it goes underneath you, and you straighten, and then come on back down. Do it again. Brush, fall. Step the extended leg underneath you, up, down. I'm going to take that from the side so you can see. It goes brush, fall, stay upright, don't fall down, go up, down. Yeah, you don't need to kick your front foot forward, but there should be a clear pointed leg in front. Yeah? Our balance days look like this when they're put together. Balance. Balance. And I kind of argued with myself at the beginning whether it's dégagé, Tombe, whether it's just a step. Kind of depends how quickly you're doing it. It could go balance, and in that way you're coming from a little dégage, um, développé. Or if you're going shum, that was fine too. I'll let you pick. Let's do it right, left, right, left. Five, six, seven, arms wide. Go balance, balance, balance. Balance. Awesome. I couldn't help it. My arm started moving. Balance is use a low third. I don't call it demi third. 
Third, shoop, bring it down. It's like you're on ball position and your second position became friends. You scoop it up this way and you scoop it up this way. And you can make these really big or really dainty, depending on how much space you have. Let's go right, left, right, left. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Balance, 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 balance. Awesome, you just learned three new steps. Glissade, pas de bray, and your balance. Awesome. Okay, I have one more for you. You okay? Okay, let's try. It's your pas de shot. If you're not comfortable jumping, you're going to take passe passe. You've already done it. If you're comfortable jumping, you plie. Then you bring this foot up to passe, bring the other foot up to passe, and you lower it plie. Pas de shot. If you're in fit, you're welcome to switch your feet. I'll leave that up to you for today. Pas de shot. Step of the cat. You can absolutely mark that, or you may jump. When you jump, start in a plie, push off. You go bing, bing, nice and slow. All right? Pas de shot. Let's bring our arms down to on ba, and let's put something together with this. We're gonna face straight, um, straight on, and we're gonna start with a little breath. Five, six, seven, eight. Two balances. Balance. Balance. From here, I want you to walk around in a circle, heels lifted. Up, 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 up. From there, pas de beret. Pas de bure, pas de bure. Glissade, pas de chat. Ready? Glissade, pas de chat. Awesome. Okay, back it up. Breath. Five, six, seven. Balance and right and left. Five. Around to the front. Pas de bure. Pas de bure, glissa, pas de chat, little breath. Okay, let's do it again with the cats. Your balance aids are like a waltz step. One and two, three and four, yeah? The rest is gonna be nice and even. Little breath, five, six, seven, balance aid, one and two, three and four, move it five, six, Seven down, eight. So one and two, three and four. Glissade, pas de chat. Let's just take the arms to finish. Okay, if that felt really fast, it's because it is a little fast. When you pot a ray, you have two options. You can start and end in coupe. If you've never done that before, come with me. Behind side first, behind side first. You're going to move a smaller amount, and that is okay. From there, you see a glissade, pas de chat, big, beautiful arms. Okay? Go for it. Be brave. You've got 10 whole minutes. We'll do it a few times. Yay. Hi, friends on Instagram. <laughs> ah, so great to see you guys. Mm, let's pick a good song, people. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's listen to the beginning. Seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four. Moving five, six, seven, eight. Pada boo, red, and pada boo, red. Glee side, pada sha, and arms. Awesome. Let's do it one time just to mark it. And then we'll make it for real the next time. How's that sound? Two eight counts to hold. Five, six, balance it. And arms. 
It's lovely, I promise. Okay, let's do it. Enough talking. Just want to chat. We got to dance. We're going to do it three times in a row, just like last time. Let's do it. Imagine like you just run down the stage. I'm here to take my bow. 
You're gonna step to your right, and your right arm comes up. We've done this position already. But you're gonna change positions, and you're just stepping over. It doesn't need to be a big ton lie. You're just stepping. Now, when you step, your weight is on your right leg. Keep it on your right leg. Just switch the arms and cross your left foot behind so you can curtsy and the hand just comes down and comes up. From there, this hand starts you off. It's my left. Step on the left and go left. Stay on your left leg. Just switch your arms and put your right foot behind and then you curtsy and up. From there, I'm gonna say thank you dancers. You would then respond, and we finished. Yeah, so formal and lovely. I feel like um, it's a perfect example of why it should feel good to take ballet as an adult. We get a little poise and elegance in our day, and I think we all deserve that. Once again, it's right hand, left hand, curtsy. Left hand, right hand, curtsy. I'll then take it one more time. You then take it one more time. Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Wow, that hour went by fast. Great work, everyone. All right, here we go. Five, six. sometime soon. If you're looking to stretch out tonight at 7.30, so in an hour, go have dinner, come back and we're going to do yoga and deep stretch. Perfect for yogi beginners, dancers, more advanced people, where it's going to build some heat and then really slow it down. Thank you so much for coming and we'll see you again real soon. Bye guys. <laughs> Aw, hi friends on Instagram. Good to see you. All right, my friends on YouTube, have a great night. Talk to you later.